This is a product catalogue in Airtable. It helps a team manage their products, orders and vendors all in one place. As a team, it's a fantastic tool to organise their store, but they have no great way of showing this to their customers. With Glide, we can use this base to power an app for their customers. Anything that they change in the Airtable base will change in the app, including prices, stock and images. And all of the private information like vendors and sales numbers will stay private in the base. In Glide, we'll create a new app and pick our base as the source. We have a lot of tables that aren't really meant for our customers, so we'll remove these and just leave the products and designers tabs. We want to show off our products really well, so we'll choose a list layout like cards that displays our images beautifully. On the left of Glide, we can see that our screen has three components, search, the favorite bar, and the actual list itself. Let's unhide the favorites bar and click on the cards list to edit it in more detail. Firstly, we'll play with the data section to make sure that it's showing the right columns from our table. Next, we'll play around with the design settings to get the list looking how we want. And finally, we'll add a favorite button so that users can favorite items. At the top of the list settings is another tab with more options. Here we'll use the group by setting to group the list by product type. And then we'll add an in-app sort menu so that users can sort by size and unit cost. So that's our list, it looks pretty good. Anytime new products are added in our base, they appear in our app without us having to do anything. Let's click into the detail screen for one of these items. Glide automatically adds components based on the columns in our table, but we can add, delete, or customize components however we like. Let's start by editing an existing one. This title component looks pretty good, but let's see if we can find a different style. Now let's delete a few of the other components and then add a button that links to the purchase page on our website. We'll add the button component and connect it to the link column in our table. Now when users click on this button, they'll go straight to our purchase page. We could even add a buy button and let users purchase items in our app, but that's for another video. So that's it, a simple app for our Airtable base. You can learn more about building apps in our university at glideapps.com learn.